Let's review the steps to create a forecast with the exponential smoothing method, the simple exponential smoothing method. We have demand for 12 weeks and we're going to create a forecast using an alpha value of 0 0.2 and also a forecast using an alpha value of 0 0.5. So to start, in period one, we will set the forecast simply equal to the demand. And then in period two, we will set the value to the previous week's forecast plus the alpha value times the previous week demand minus the previous week forecast. Now let's put an absolute reference on the row number for the alpha value. Let's also put an absolute reference on the column for the demand. That's so that when we copy this formula over for the exponential smoothing method with the alpha value of 0 0.5, um, we can use the same formula. So now let's copy the formula down. And we'll also obtain a forecast for period 13. Next, let's go ahead and do the same thing for exponential period, exponential forecast with an alpha value of 0 0.5. We'll set the first week forecast to the demand, and then we can use the formula that we had already constructed for alpha equals 0 0.2. If we copy that formula over and we take a look, notice we've kept the demand value at B4, and we've updated the alpha value to D1, which is a 0 0.5, but we kept the dollar sign so that we'll continue to use D1 as we copy down the column. Uh, but we have a relative reference on D4, which is the forecast, and that's what we want. So let's copy this formula down, and we'll obtain the forecast for the uh, exponential smoothing method with alpha equal to 0 0.5. Next, let's graph both the forecast and the actual demand. Insert a scatter plot. We'll connect with lines. Right click to add the data. First, we'll add the series for the demand. The name will be the title here in cell B3. Then we'll add the x values, which will be the weak numbers. And the y values will be the series uh, corresponding to the demand. The actual demand, that is. Click OK. Then we'll add another series. This series name will be the exponential with 0.2 alpha. We'll set the series weak numbers to be the x values, just as before. And then the y values will be the series values in column C. Finally, we'll add the third series, which is the exponential smoothing model with the alpha value of 0.5. Look at the corresponding name. The weak numbers will again be 1 to 13. And then the y values will be in column D. Select OK. Let's change the range for the vertical axis. We'll right click and select the um, format axis. We'll set the minimum to 600. Now let's put axes, a horizontal label so it's for the weak numbers, and then on the vertical axis. So actual and for 
forecasted demand. Also, let's add a legend on the right hand side. There we can see our graph of the demand and the exponential smoothing forecast. As we can see, the orange forecast, the exponential smoothing method with an alpha value of 0 0.2, creates a more smooth forecast, whereas the exponential smoothing method with the higher value of alpha, the 0 0.5, creates a more responsive model where it is less smooth and more responsive to the changes in the actual data, the demand in the blue, uh, with the blue line connected dots, the blue scatter plot. Okay, let's calculate the errors and the, the uh, mean squared error and the mean absolute deviation. Okay, the error is simply going to be the difference between the demand and the forecast. The absolute value of the error, which is the ABS function here. The mean squared error, what we're going to do is we're going to use the sum of squared formula. We'll take the error and we'll get to the range of M4, but we'll start at the first one. And then we'll have a relative reference for the second so that when we copy this formula down, it will uh, have more than one value that we're going to do the sum of squared. So here, in this case, that'll give us the sum of squared, but we want the mean squared error, so we want the average. So we simply need to divide by the number of observations. Well, in the first row, this is going to be simply 1. So we can use this 1 that we have in, in cell A4 and just divide by that. And with the relative reference in the next row, we will, we will divide by 2, as there will be two observations. Now, for the mean absolute deviation, this is simply going to be the mean, which is the average, of all of the absolute errors we have so far, which is in column n. And so again, we'll put the range which starts at n4 always, and then goes to n4 in this case, but it will be n5 and n6 and so on as we add more observations. Now if we copy down these formulas, we should get the errors, the absolute errors, the mean squared error, and the mad the mean absolute deviation for the 12-week period. And as we can see, the final MAD and MSE values are shown below. Now let's do the same thing with the exponential smoothing method with the alpha value of 0 0.5. The formulas will be very similar. I'm going to start by copying these formulas over and then we'll fix them. So for the first one, we actually want the difference between the demand and the forecast for alpha equal to 0 0.5. The absolute error will be the same thing, the uh, absolute value of the error that we just computed. The mean squared error will now be Instead of M4, we're going to use R4. Start with R4. And we'll start by going to R4. And then the number we're going to divide by will, of course, be that number of observation, which is the same thing as the weak number. And then finally, the absolute error, we'll need to use the S column. So it'll be S4 to S4. Now if we copy these formulas down, we'll get the MSC and the MAD for the exponential smoothing method with the alpha value of 0 
If we take a look at these measures, we can see that the mat of 65.34 is lower than the mat for the exponential smoothing method with the alpha value of 0 0.2. So the exponential smoothing method with the alpha value of 0 0.5 is a better forecasting method for this particular data. We also see MSC being considerably lower at 6,064 in comparison with the 10,169 that we see uh, for the exponential smoothing method with the alpha value of 0 0.2. Hope you enjoyed this video. Looking forward to seeing you in our next.